Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the SDSC Fancast. Woo! Oh yeah. yeah. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Song number not one, not three, but two. Ooh, nice. Right. I I actually I since we are recording on a Monday night tonight, I almost sent producer Trev. Uh, a little clip of the Bengals singing "Just Another Manic Monday," and he and I was thinking of that, and then he was like in the <laughs> chat, like, "Oh, I'm gonna, I have a song." And I was like, "Oh shit, what if it's Manic Monday by the Bengals?" No, I'm just joking. <laughs> that would have been a good song. cool. It's gonna be stuck oh. in my head all evening. Oh, good, good. I would rather have Blur stuck in my head, even though uh, Susanna Hoff, you know, real crush of mine. But what's up, y'all? What's going down, dude? We're recording, We're recording a podcast. Yeah. Producer <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tress fired up. That's, that's yeah. how we are. We're, we're just... opposite sound bites. <laughs> Cricket, yeah, yeah. A... Cricket has you the know. horn. Having myself a blood orange latitude thirty three. Nice. Delicious. What are you? What are you drinking, Kagan? What do you got? Uh, you got old, dram. old CL Mountains of Blue. <clears throat> Actually, Mountains are ice cold blue. This is Rolling Rock as I drink it. Uh, which is totally nice. different, dude. The same, yeah. same Rolling Rock is like Budweiser. It's rice beer. I yeah. love Rolling Rock. Hey, it's, like, it's like water. Why did you say Coors know. Light? Why did you lie to us? Because <laughs> the last... <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was Nate for, from Quick Man. Can you imagine if that was my laugh? <laughs> I thought it was uh, I would not have friends. I just wouldn't have friends. <laughs> that was like an ex I used to date. No, I digress. <laughs> sounds Ooh. a lot like my laugh, TBH. Now, the one I had previously was the old CL. That's why. Ah. Colonial, what what type of herbal tea are you drinking over there? This is actually not herbal tea. See this hat on my head? Valhalla Meadery. This is actually mead, my good friend. Oh. What I mean, year is it? Nice. Oh, it's a uh, <laughs> AD 1290 from uh, Nor- Norwegian <laughs> County by the uh, name of Snorsgard. I love it. Snorsgard. Uh, I no, think it's like- actually... It's, a cool little oh, sorry to interrupt you. it's a cool little uh, spot in town i have like a funky gut so i can't drink like a lot these days but i love honey and i think it's so good for you and there there was a spot in town and for whatever reason his mead uh, agrees with me and i like to you know just nurse it for the evening it's nice you had Hell a yeah. meeting of the minds <laughs> <laughs> no meat is gross i've had it before it depends it just depends it depends on what there's so many different ways to do it i for one welcome Valhalla Meadery sponsorship. Oh, thank we you. We love oh, mead yeah. and send some mead. We'll drink it. Actually, yeah, you're right, Keegan. Sorry. I love mead. Give it to me. <laughs> and I also will be welcomed in Valhalla, hopefully, as well. So <laughs> I'll shoot the fire arrows for you. I got gotcha. you. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. Anytime. But uh, you know what? Since Keegan's blowing up the group chat, Keegan, what's going on, dude? What'd you do this weekend? Uh, cool actually, updates? You no. Know, not, not not too much actually this weekend. Um Oh wow. Yeah. Really that yeah. Honestly well, nothing. Really really hung out, cleaned the house. News here. No cool stories this week, no escapades really. <laughs> That's all, I oh, guess wow. you gotta just guess Chris, you gotta take some about weekends you? off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. It can't be all bangers. Sorry. I was trying to think there's really like nothing, just another another weekend. Kids sleep over at the kids, uh dropped them off, and then that's like it cleaned and played xbox and swam chris how about you sorry how about you how was your weekend sorry don't do it <laughs> don't do it don't oh, fall this, for this it this bit this gag <laughs> he almost got me i was biting the hook <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I like how keegan like <laughs> kept leaning in like dude can you hear can you hear me yeah me and daisy closer. knew immediately <laughs> i had nothing so i was like please save me i'm drowning <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I should have saved you, son of a bitch, Chris. Uh, let's see. On Saturday, I went out to the cabin that me and my buddy Ronnie are building. We uh, installed the. S- oh, thank you, thank you. We installed the subfloor on the bathroom, Ooh. and then also the walls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Keegan he accurately said Brokeback Mountain question <laughs> mark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I think Chris and Ronnie, they just bang. They're not actually in love. You know what true. I'm saying? It's a little That's bit true. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. I had I had a well, never mind. I was gonna say an inappropriate story, but I had a <laughs> sidebar. I had a coworker at work who always would say, if you, you have three times a year where you're not gay, that's he always would say that. And if you can oh! two lines. <laughs> not that I ever took him off on it, but that's what he would always say to me. And then, I, what an interesting I, thing I, to say. I, <laughs> I love Brokeback Mountain. I think it's a great, great movie. And it's actually one of my favorite soundtracks of all time. That's it. It's a good movie. It's is a really good movie. Yeah. yeah. Director Yit Ang, Ang Lee. Ang Lee. Ang Lee. Yes. Yes. Very good director. Uh, yeah. Cabin was awesome. Saw some deer. Saw some turkey. Uh, Shoot them, baby. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Actually, Colin, you'll find this interesting. One of um, Ronnie's buddies uh, is going out there now he's going to be like staying the night in our cabin and he's bow hunting deer nice Ooh, okay. nice very nice nice yeah but that was my weekend pretty pretty cool oh yeah colonial what about you my friend yeah man i haven't played golf i'm like i like golf i usually play quite a bit in the summer times up here it's a small window but i haven't played once this year and i've been like telling jessica my wife we need to go just like walk the course and just she can come with me and we'll just walk nine so we finally got around to doing that on Saturday. We went and played uh, old Bridger Creek golf course tucked up near the mountains and just walked nine holes. I've sh- freaking had a few pars and a lot of double bogeys and it was not pretty, but <laughs> you know, I haven't played in about 10 months. So to be expected, but it was just nice, beautiful day, get a little exercise. So the, yeah, I did that. It was nice. And then um, just watched some football Sunday, chilled out. Here we are. Nice. When, when are you uh when are you coming to san diego next colonial uh, for sure when we kick off our first home match sdfc but i think we'll try to come down like mm-hmm, mm-hmm, around christmas so time, topical like a week or two before christmas as well maybe but because something's up in the air nice well looking forward to having you back uh back home my friend oh, um, forward to it. nice uh nate nate don't yeah. overlook you. How was your nope. weekend? Good weekend. A lot of family stuff, which is nice. Um, Saturday, it was Julie's family. And so we went to Lake San Marcos, hung out. And yeah, it was a very nice, very nice, like pre-Thanksgiving thing because uh, Julie's Julie's uncle, uh, act technically second cousin, but you know how that goes, um, uh, is going to be traveling actually with his partner and their dude. I was talking to them. They're only going to be in London for a day, and it's going to be his first time in London. And holy shit, it is my, it is one of my favorite cities. It's so much fun. London is the best. But uh, so I get to you know shoot the shit with them about that. And I'm really excited for them to get back from their trip so we can then do the re- recount. You know, they hit the whole trip. That's always fun. Um, but that was Saturday and Sunday. I hung out with my family. My Went to my sister's place in La Jolla, saw it for the first time. She just moved back down to San Diego after living in Temecula slash Marietta forever, dude. Is this Jessica? Um, yeah. She's a flight attendant now. Uh, so went down, saw everybody, hung out with my mom, hung out with Patty Cakes. And she was like, don't be don't be telling everybody all your life, you know, all the information. And I was like, mom, I'm going to tell them exactly what we did. So what we did is I went to <laughs> Jessica's and then we went and we got pizza at a place called Regent's Pizza. And it was really good. They have Chicago style and New York style. So you don't have to pick. You can do. I've been there each. before. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that, dude, place hell is yeah. Bomb. that place was really good. It yeah. really was. And I was expecting to pay more money because of the clientele and where it was at and all those yeah. things. But pretty Pretty reasonably priced. Nice. Um, it was good. And then after the pizza, we went to a little international market. It was actually called a European market, but I guess it's only the eastern side of Europe because it's like all Polish and like Georgian and Russian stuff. But it was really funny that it's like, yeah, we're a European European market. It's like, yeah, kind of. Uh, but we did get some pelmeni, which is like little little um, little dumplings. Tiny little circular dumplings. All right. This is boring. All right. Palmetti. No, no I was, was listening and I wanted to say Palmetti. It's really um, good. And they literally had it like you open up a freezer drawer and then you just spoon it into a plastic bag and it's loose like that. And we did. And we ate that tonight for dinner. It was wonderful. Nice. I'm getting nice. hungry. Keegan, yeah. uh, dumpling was your nickname from P. Diddy, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> Only if he acted right. Yeah. Uh, when yes. he was in trouble, it was. <laughs> <laughs> just say so. yeah. He wanted to come Fine. back so bad, but he can't think of anything. Now I just say something else. But yeah. So how about how about the MLS? How about well, it? all right. How about so, it? So speaking of you coming down for SDFC's first home game. Yeah, let's just get into it, y'all. March SDFC, 1st. Let's do it. March 1st, 2025. <laughs> Big deal. Dude, it's right around the corner. We, so we're playing St. Louis. Let me ask you guys real quick. What's the first thing that comes to your head when I say St. Louis? Me neither. Car- Fucking nothing. Jack shit. Cardinals. Car- Jack yeah, shit. Jack Cardinals. losers. Losers. The arch. They just lost. Cardinals, Blues. Yeah, I mean, oh, okay. what March? What? What was it? All right, stop ruining my joke. It was Saint, a good joke. Well, St. Louis oh! barbecue, the arch, the Blues, you know, hockey team. Isn't there a blue? Or are they even a hockey team anymore? They might have moved. It, yeah, that's what I said. I said the Blues. Oh, did you? Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He also said the date, and I wasn't listening to that. I was curious what he well, said. Well, here we was. Can you March first, 2025? March 1st. Here's a question. Name one player on St. Louis. <laughs> That I don't know. Ralph Charles <laughs> Barkley. What's that? <laughs> Charles Barkley. I thought you had somebody. I was like, oh, oh Ralph. No, him? Ralph said Ralph Stevenson. But no, <laughs> <laughs> sounds white enough. Yeah, yeah it'll be. Uh, <laughs> that's our first home game. Yeah, at Snapdragon. And our first game of the season is against the Galaxy. Ooh. Yeah. Kicking off that LA rivalry right away. I Enemies. do. I am. I'm curious. I'm more curious how you guys feel about us playing Galaxy away for our first game. Mm-hmm. I just want you to have at it. I'm so curious how you feel about it. Seriously, it's going to be crazy because, as uh, you know, fair weather LA Galaxy fans prior to SCFC coming, like we would drive all the way up there and support LA Galaxy, mm-hmm. and now fuck them, fuck everything yeah. that they stand for. I hate them. Me too. Uh, Alexi so, Lawless was their GM. Like, fuck that. Yeah, oh, he only. Ew. Yeah, well, actually, he did a good job because he brought Beckham in. Don't kind of change. Yeah, right. Don't, start. <laughs> they, they don't you do it. No, you're right. And I agree with that. But I'm just going to say, don't you do it. I think he's a giant clown, but that was a great move <laughs> by him. Uh, but no, just going to that stadium, you know, supporting our own team as away fans is going to be a wild experience. I'm excited. Chef's kiss. I can't mm. wait to be there to go in and screaming fuck LA and yelling at the fans and players and yeah to go there is like a non LA Galaxy supporter cuz i think the last time i was there was when i was like 18 or 19 and i was hammered that's when i they had a this when like LA Galaxy was new there's no LAFC remember we went up there like at least a game a year oh they i had remember Beckham, all that i was hammered vaguely and then my was now it- wife my girlfriend at the time we were young we got tanked before the game and then during the game and then after and they had mexican tv they had like a table they had cameras it was like telemundo and they're doing like the post game and i all hammeredly was going LFC, oh. and then i fell like and tripped and onto their table and on live tv collapsed their mexican table and they're all, oh, what are you doing? They're laughing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Bubbles, bubbles. And everything. I'm like, really? Yeah. And that was my last memory at the stadium. So I look forward to going back now as SDFC supporter doing hopefully the same thing. I might recreate it. Yeah, I was going to say, we got to recreate that movie. Yeah. yeah. This time we'll, for SDFC. Yeah. I'm going to make a banner that says Mexican table. And I'll put it over the table and you can fall into it. Just like Way that. Because that's, that's how it works, right? Yep. Actually, I feel, dude, I feel like I remember. Sorry, Nate. Uh, we were like trying super hard to find the footage of that. We could never find it. But can <laughs> you imagine if we found that? Oh my god, dude, dude that'd be, be out there. amazing. Yeah, I gotta look for that. It's gotta I'll be just, somewhere. Just YouTube it, gringo yeah. idiot. Right. <laughs> Where you borracho like falling into the table, dude? That, yeah. It's gotta uh, be somewhere. Because they're talking like who takes special Robos. care of him. He's <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Dude, I like, remember... oh, vamos, LA Galaxy, oh, bala, bala. And I'm like, yeah, woo. And like, oh, gringo, gringo. And I literally just like fell into like Chris Farley, you know, when he like falls on oh, yeah. the table. It's like the same thing. Oh, my God. And my parents were so mad. Like, what the hell? And I like, stumble away. 
Why did we let our 18 year old get hammered? Yeah, like how's he so <laughs> you, hammered all of a sudden? You embarrassed us in front of the entire Telemundo crew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, audience, they loved it, man. People were cheering. It was great. Dude, that's awesome. I, I remember. Rules. I remember going to a, to a game there, and it was USA versus uh, Sweden with you, Keegan, and Sasha Kleshin scored hat trick. That's remember right. That. that was on the quiz game, and also there was yeah. a really awesome chant. I don't know if you guys remember this. Nope. Um. I think it was the Sweden game. We we won like six to one or something like that. And everybody in the stands were singing, you came a long way just to just lose. lose. You came a long way just to lose. Come on, Keegan, you came a long, yeah, long way, way just to, just lose. to Sorry, lose. I'll stop singing. Well, maybe we, can, maybe we can sing that against St. Louis on our first home game. Let's yeah. fingers fucking crossed, huh? Slid <laughs> down the arch and then flew over here. All right. There was a... Uh, there was a carne asada. San Diego FC did another event, just doing events left and right. That's and awesome. Julie and I went to one Friday, and it was it was good. And you guys, guess what? Guess what? What? A woman came up to Julie and myself, and she was like, "Hey, uh, I'm doing I'm doing a podcast for San Diego FC. I'm, <laughs> I'm with iHeartRadio. Can I interview you guys?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." And she interviewed us and she asked us uh, some questions, but it was too loud. So we probably won't even like we won't even, I don't know, show up in any any of her stuff. But like she had professional gear and like was like professional gear. I don't know. It looked like this, like a T-shaped thing with two knobs. And she was all like, dude, the band is so loud. She's all headphones, all professional. Like, hey, what's up? Um. So, yeah, but. She asked us some pretty generic uh, questions about soccer and MLS and things like that. And it was just, it was interesting. Just yeah. Stuff it was we've been fun. talking about for about 10, 11 months now, I bet. No, I, I didn't say <laughs> anything about us doing our little <laughs> midlife crisis here, but I did, um, yeah. I did, uh, <laughs> I did look her up and she's, she's with a company called, um, uh, what is it? Something message heard and like, no, she has an IMDb page and stuff like that. A producer on on some decent size shows, um, like you know, and then a couple of producing credits on some true crime true crime podcast things like that. So it's uh, you know, SDFC is getting some attention. It's cool. All right, guys, podcast over. Yep, that's it. <laughs> that's last episode, last dude. That's a corporation, bro. All that's all that is. She's got yeah, she's got fancy equipment because she's part of iHeartRadio, which has like just a bunch of suits. Telling her what to do exactly here. Yeah. No, this it is, was this is the real deal. Our, uh, I yeah. radio. Who <laughs> listens to radio? Who listens to yeah, radio? Yeah, radio. I was doing that about 15 years ago when it was cool. Right. Uh, <laughs> that being said, if iHeartRadio wants to sponsor this oh, yeah. podcast, by <laughs> any yeah. means. Chris is always working those <laughs> producer Trev is like more like I hate radio. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I uh no, hey Rebecca. What's up? You come on our podcast. Yeah, yeah come on. That all that to yeah. say, but yeah, more the merrier. You can we will interview you. You can take Keegan's spot. Oh, we do yeah. need a, a lady on the podcast. Yeah, get old, our, uh... old Becky. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so that was that was good. And then uh, Omatic, uh, the videographers, they um, oh Keegan, that that one got Julie. She's still laughing over here. She's cracking up. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I talked to them a little bit. And that was good, Sergio and Isaiah. So, dude, these these events, I cannot, again, let me just repeat myself for the 9,000th time. I cannot recommend them enough. Like, if you are at just a, even interested in, like, what a new soccer team, what type of events they would be doing, and you don't even care about soccer, you could, it's fun and, and interesting and stuff like that. So, they really, I do like the events. I do. I'd say this every freaking time. But it's true. That's true. It's awesome, um, man. Good vibes. It did all day. And then I, we posted the pictures or the reel or whatever the hell on Instagram, but it was cool. Dude, we had a police escort a little bit. I don't know if it was my, it may have been impromptu, may have not, but the cop car stopped and the sun was just setting and it was like the best fucking picture. And uh, they had the smoke and all the flags and we're marching down the street and chanting and oh man. And I literally looked at Julie and I was like, so this is why people protest shit. <laughs> Like, <laughs> yeah. it's like an adrenaline rush while yeah dude it Loople. really is like just that mob mentality you know yep. oh, um, toxic so was there it, all the it can be. intoxicating yeah. is what i should say <laughs> was there a lot of group mate like all the different supporters groups too was there just one support kind of everybody everybody it looked like awesome. everybody was represented 
So That's it's, uh, cool. I think everyone's, everyone's joining the familia, you know, we're, I think everybody's just excited for a new soccer team. Yeah. Period. A lot of excitement. I know that's a word I'd use, but it's no other word works works better, you know, right now. But Sports, uh man. Awesome. Sports are the are the great unifier. Yes. And speaking of more events, there is freaking five chrome balls in November. Yeah. Five. I am. Good lord. Are there that's even awesome. five weekends in fucking November? Is the chrome ball gonna like be tired? He's gotta like take you know that chrome ball. I mean a chrome, it's gotta you know be tired. He's rolling around <laughs> a lot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that was, thank you. Gonna turn into the jealous. stainless steel that's, ball. That's... <laughs> yeah. Um no, but yeah, yeah. I don't even know what cities right now. Do you remember I any? Tell you, I can I can tell you right Do now. Do it please, Christopher. Coronado's one of them. Coronado. Oh, nice. Do you want me to do it, or do you want someone else to do it? For fuck. Uh, I want you guys to do it together. <laughs> now do it, Christopher. Let us know. Uh, Coronado, November third. Lemon Grove, November 9th. La Mesa, November eleventh. That's a Monday. Uh, Imperial Beach, November sixteenth, and National City, the twenty third of November. And then the final one. It's not going to be downtown like we had maybe uh, theorized. It's it's actually going to be at Snapdragon, uh, Sunday, yes. December fifteenth. Is that was that where the Ooh. brand ran? Like, was that the first kickoff one? I wonder. It was mm-hmm. at Snapdragon. Oh, yeah. full circle. I like it. Times a flat circle. I like feel like ball. I feel like downtown is kind Carousel. of a missed, missed opportunity, but mm-hmm. but that's cool. Snapdragon will be. Fun. I, dude, I got to imagine it's hard to shut down a big enough block in gas lamp for anybody. Like that has yeah. to be years yeah. in advance, I'd imagine, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, the farmers market does it every week in Little Italy. So, <laughs> remember, remember, they had that. Uh, I don't know if they do anymore. They used to have that concert down there. What was it called? Chris, it shut, uh, they Bay had that Fest. 90- What's that? Bayfest. I was just joking. Bay. Oh no, but they had that sweet. They would shut down the gas lamp, and they had. I went. I saw like. Uh, MXPX down there once. I was like 16. Never mind. But it's possible. It's probably a couple, uh, Rebecca, you're know. doing you're doing so much better than us. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> That's why you have producer credits on IMDb and we do not. Just um, normal men. <laughs> <laughs> you have a duck in the background. Hey, I don't think so. uh, you guys want some draft? Some draft dates? We got draft dates. Ooh, Ooh, man, yes. Announce. yes, I do. So. December 11th is the expansion draft and it's only for expansion teams. And so it's only us, I think. <laughs> like I'm pretty certain it's just us at right. the expansion draft. And we get, um, what is it? Yeah, we get five players. We get to choose. So every team has 12 slots that they, hey, these 12 players are protected. You can't get anybody from these 12. But everybody after that is good to go. But if you get a player from a team, you can't get like multiple players from the same team, I should say. Um, which you guys, you guys already know this. I don't know this. Well, shit. no, no, no. We'll lay, lay it down though. No, see, I'm the refresher is good. Yeah, no. So I so I guess this is a pretty normal expansion draft type situation, uh, you know, in American sports. And like um you get to choose a player from teams, you know, you get five slots right. that you get to choose, which blows that blows my mind. Yeah, it's kind of like, crazy if you think about it. I, it reminds me, so you know um, Major League, you know, the comedy movies, but there's yeah. a scene where they open their lockers and they see like, hey, you know, I'm cut or I'm not cut. Like, do they open their lockers and see like, oh, shit, dude, I'm on the chopping block. Like, San Diego FC can, can get me, you know? I don't know. That's got to be wild, the 29 other teams. Yeah, it's got to be a weird feeling as a player, right? Like, knowing yeah. that, all right, these 12 dudes who are probably all assholes are all protected. <laughs> Meanwhile, I don't know where I'm going to sleep tomorrow night after the draft. So, yeah, that's that is pretty you, wild. It's you could abs- Yeah, you could be somebody that gets a lot of minutes throughout the season and still not be that 12, you know, part of the 12, mm-hmm. part of the in crew, which... Ooh, man. But also, let's be real. Like, if you found out that you got drafted by San Diego yeah. and you were playing for St. Louis, for example, you're probably not going to be. That I was going to say, I was literally yeah. about to say, it's not anything. Ain't St. Louis. <laughs> if you're if you're mad, you're an idiot. Seriously, really I would cool say that again. If you get drafted to San Diego FC and you're mad, you're a fucking idiot. 
<laughs> um, imagine getting paid to live in San Diego. Like, get the fuck, get the fuck out of here. You're an idiot if you don't like it. When is anyway. the uh, uh, actual draft? So, free agency opens the 12th. The super draft is the 20th. These are all in December. We get the first pick in the super draft, and we nice. get three, three picks total, which I don't know what that means totally. And then there's <laughs> also the college showcase, though. So I uh, am assuming it's like the, uh, you know, when the NFL does the, uh, tr- the, the uh, column. Yeah. Not I almost call- said, not oh, yeah, my I God. Know. I heard that. The NFL <laughs> combine. <laughs> <laughs> like when you combine oh, two things together <laughs> to make them one. The crickets <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, well, that's. Oh, my goodness. So free agency and the expansion draft. Um, occur before a free agency will go on for a while obviously but the expansion draft will be before the final chrome ball tour so maybe there'll be an unveiling of a player or something like that or the hell yeah there's got to be there's got to be all that i would imagine right or not unveiling but because we would already know who we drafted but that's true maybe they'll showcase yes yeah Yeah. man we're it's well that's not very far away man like Mm -hmm. we're right getting there Preseason starts in January, and that is in that we're we're towards the end of February on the right. end of February or uh, February Jesus, October. of October. I'm just excited for the February date, beginning of the season. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's coming up like two and a half, three months. Preseason starts. That's crazy. Like, and the Galaxy game is the twenty second. Is that twenty second? <laughs> yep. I wonder if they'll have pre. They must. They have like preseason games then, and what? late January, early February. So that'd be fun to go watch like a preseason game. If they have one Snapdragon too. see the team yeah, early, I, you know? Yeah. I would guess that they already have them lined up. I mean, it's, it, it's got to bring some viewers to play a brand new team expansion team, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but no, that's, uh, that was, there's actually, there's quite a bit of news now, as we thought would happen as we get closer to, to the season, it's ramping up. I mean, you know, this us talking about San Diego FC news, we would have to stretch it out, but here we just shoot the shit. That's a good sign. We're there. We're getting there. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. I Our love it. It's over. Yeah. I'm excited to see now the drafts like what about six weeks, seven, eight weeks away. See you start going through and looking at who the options are and thinking about who we might want to pick. Yeah. That'll be very fun to start sifting through all that. And look at yeah. the fill top college prospects and all that type mm-hmm. of stuff. Yeah. If anybody out there has like a list of all the available players that we could draft, that would be fun yeah. to sift through. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's already announced? It probably won't be announced until the season is over. I bet. Right. The available players that we can mm. go after. Ooh. I wonder, I wonder when the other teams are supposed to send their thing in, but that would make sense. That would have to be at the end of the season. Cause what yeah. if you have a player that's on the fringe and they fucking dominate in the playoffs? Yeah, Yeah. I can't imagine, or just for like team morale purposes too. Like, I can't imagine they would release that prior. Because like (laughs) baseball, football, baseball, they all wait once after the Super Bowl, World Series, or whatever. So after the MLS final, I bet that's when all the agents start calling. It gets rolling. So that'll be very fun. That makes sense. I like doing all that, looking through players, possible options. Yeah, especially because we're top of the order. It's not like. We get one choice. We, you know, get cream of the crop. So, well, good. Send us the list, Kagan. Once you do the research yeah. for us, once you do the legwork, let us, uh, you know, utilize it. We're not I'll top you... of the order. We are the order, Keegan. This is the expansion draft, bro. I know. Right. I'm saying the total draft as well. We get then we get three picks. Uh, I'm saying that we're college draft. Got gotcha. and all that. Yeah. Come on. It's there. It, it really... I'll let you know, like February uh, 29th, what players we pick. No, but it, it, like to your to your point that that is true. Like we have multiple different areas that we can draft people from, which is great. Like that's mm. and if you know if full TJ and them doing the money ball paired with Mikey, who seems pragmatic. Like I think I don't know, I don't know. I got good feelings. I got good feelings. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to put a good team together next year, not just like first year team. I think we're going to be competitive next year at least you know make it interesting i think so we're not going to be like cincinnati or some shit 
St. We got Louis. dominated the first season. St. Louis. I, I, we hate St. Louis. Every time we bring up St. Louis. <laughs> poor, poor St. Louis. Yes. Uh, mm. No, uh, uh, our buddy Tim texted me earlier today and he was like, oh, first game's announced. Like, uh, I have been, you know, I haven't been following the news, but how's the team looking? I was like, well, we only have like six players, but, uh, but he was like, do you think we're going to be competitive? And I was like, yeah, I, I do. I think even just with the core guys that we have right now, specifically Chucky, as Trev just mentioned in the chat, he's a star. And then, yeah, yeah I mean, the guys we already have over on Norseland developing chemistry and their seasoned pros, I think we're going to be, we're going to be okay. I think we're Dude, gonna... and Yepa and Marcus have literally, like, they seriously have been killed. Like, they've been playing really, really well uh, for Norseland. Like, I'm very, very positive right now. I, I'm pumped, man. I'm really excited. All right. So the MLS regular season has come to an end officially. And you know what? Out of all the teams we picked, all of them are in the playoffs. So not bad. All right. All right. That's the. Who right. was the, the team that set the record for most points ever? Yeah. Uh, Internationale Miami. Oh, that's right. And who, who picked them? Well, you oh, picked them for the MLS God. cap. Yeah, yeah, what are you we'll see. about? Yeah, are you, haven't, already? Already? you haven't didn't claim that they were gonna break that. You just said they'd win Boo. the deal. What are you Okay, I will Boo. say, I will say <laughs> in Chris's <laughs> defense, I was talking shit like they're not gonna they're gonna they're not gonna take it seriously, this and that. And guess what? Look where I am. And Eat they're also again they're the overwhelming favorite. LAFC is so. gonna beat them as much as I hate to say that. Cincinnati is going to win. I don't know why. You want to know why Miami's going to win? Because Don Garber is like, this shit's fixed. The fix is in, <laughs> folks. The fix is in. And let me tell you, let me tell you something. Lionel Messi's the fixer. E. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it look better, though, if they <laughs> lost? Like, look at how good MLS is. Like, even if they come over, they can't make it to the, you know, they can't win the cup. <clears throat> Yeah. They're gonna win the cup. Sports are all fixed. It's Dodgers, Yankees, World Series. It's gonna be Miami and Chiefs LA and FC. Ravens. Yeah. Uh, and it's all a scam. Yeah. We're all in a simulation. <laughs> Nothing is real. Ravens. And we're all gonna die. No, we're in the same Ravens. division. <laughs> I'm of just course. Joking. Of course, the except, and Ravens. Conference. except when saying. San Diego FC wins, <laughs> yeah. then it's all on merit. <clears throat> it's all, yeah. It is all on merit. It's because we're the best. Yeah. Will no, Arnett's you know gonna lead us to victory. Yes, he will. 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 By the way, will. any any update on Sweet Will? Sidebar. Stop asking me, dude. I'm <sighs> It was your bit, but all right, I'll stop asking. I know it was my fucking bit. You're a little angry. <laughs> Is it the time of the month? Keegan <laughs> said I can't. chat earlier. Uh, You're a little ornery today. Maybe if Keegan logged on to Twitter once every <laughs> month at least. <laughs> my guess social media. Instagram's we could use a we, we could use a social media director. If anyone out there wants to take it over keegan is thousand percent thousand drop on the ball it's like he has a family or something me <laughs> need one and i have to rely and on I'm, poor I'm on julie twitter that's all i do yeah i mean how or many tw- how many tweets has san diego fc or san diego fc had Does, is san diego fc like active on twitter yeah they have a lot of tweets think, now a better question is know. how many tweets does sdfc fan cast have well i was gonna say we like a baker's dozen all you have- <laughs> <laughs> cool, even bigger dozen. Oh, dude, I love that. Skit. Sorry, I brought it up. I'll never bring and it up. Even again. Baker's dozen. No, but I, I <laughs> like. I was doing a joke with you, Keegan, and be like, dude, all you gotta do is like them or whatever. I don't know if you can like like tweets on Twitter. I don't know. I don't use it. Uh, no, you can just go know. repost San Diego FC shit. That's yeah. I need to you know log. what? If it's meant to be, he'll find his way here. You know, I did. Will. Don't force it. I did and tweet at him, but I to no avail. SDFC huh? has one, two, three, four, five, six tweets in the last twenty-four hours. Oh, oh that's kind of a lot. <laughs> God, so they're pretty active. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're very. Yeah. We have six in like. <laughs> Uh, they're pseudo active. We have we have six in six years. <laughs> six years. <laughs> I fucking love it. But now yeah. MLS MLS season ended, and yes, all of our teams did very well. Inter did well. LAFC did well. Cincinnati did all right. 
So they're all in the playoffs, and we will see. We'll see. We're all still in the in the running right now. So does that mean? Sorry, Cole. Does that mean fantasy is over? Fantasy is over, and I was going to ask you want to do one final MLS (laughs) fantasy. This mother. Not only do I win the quiz game inaugural season one, look at the boy go. But I steamrolled you guys on the uh, fantasy, MLS fantasy. 63 points coming in tied for second was Trevor and Nate with 48. So, (laughs) Uh, wow. Stu beat you guys. So that's embarrassing. He had 42 points. Uh, Kicking beef, 36. And Colin bringing up the rear yet again with 33. I'm embarrassed for y'all. That's right. I'm going to go from last to first next season. Where's my money? For my money yet? Did we did we say your attitude? But actually, money. I do have a gift for you. I'm gonna give you this this unpopped popper. This is for oh. you. You can pop it at your leisure to celebrate your, <laughs> your win. <leisure. laughs> nice. I on the couch just watching Netflix. Oh, I'm very leisure right now. Where's into my Ashley's popper? into Ashley's face. <laughs> I won MLS fantasy. Well done, Chris. Well done. Uh, You're doing yeah. well Thanks. in uh well very well. Well. Let's see what uh, uh let's see what empanadas and church. Okay, so I finished with okay, say okay, so this was total points in this league. It's not head to head, so it's just total points. Empanadas and churros finished with three thousand two hundred and eight points. That's a lot. In context, I finished in second place with nineteen hundred twenty two. Basically doubled you, not quite, but like, like thir- beat me by thirteen hundred points. Unbelievable. Oh, we fucking suck. Maybe they'll I, reveal themselves now. Please. I want to know who this is. Tomorrow. Tomorrow at the uh the live cast. Oh, Ooh. please. If you're there, this won't air by then, but please. Dude, oh my god. I love it. I hope that they never do. I kind of hope that it's a it's a freaking mystery for I don't know. I want to know. I gotta know. I love it. I love it. But yeah, good congratulations, Christopher. Actually, that is congratulations. Quiz game champion, first quiz game champion, first fantasy champion. That's nice. That's awesome, my friend. Thank you. Oh, for my... <laughs> <laughs> my sense to mix exactly. I love it. Congratulations. Townsfolk, right? Trevor's never rooted for me. He's always rooting for me to fail. <laughs> He's always taking shots at his little baby brother. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'll take shots at Trev, too. I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, I do think Chris shoots from the. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, are you guys ready for a quiz game? I was yeah. born ready. Let's go. It's only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? See, we had you faith. Don't. We all waited. <laughs> we knew you don't have we to be mad. It was coming. Absolutely. I can um, edit. I can edit out that little gap, Trev. No. <laughs> can't edit that out though leave it in <laughs> that's mm. true all right staying in give me one second oh boy no i just i just <laughs> remember i just Word remember something real quick. i just remember something mm-hmm. real quick nothing to do with quiz game all right but quiz game all right the topic of tonight's quiz game is our owner muhammad mansoor Beep, beep, beep. Oh, wow. Monsieur, like Monsieur. Eh? Yep. So when you go, you know, <laughs> he's the first name on all the owner, Muhammad Monsieur. So he's uh, he's there. He's in our sights tonight. All right, y'all. So the first, so look, like I said, there are some some uh, questions that I think you guys should know, and there's no no multiple choice. Oh God. Oh boy. That's only the first question of this quiz game, all right? Don't get mad at me. I have to give you a preface because I don't want to hear you guys yell at me after the first question. Like, calm down. There's multiple choice in the other questions. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. Muhammad Mansour is our owner, just like I said. What, What country was he born in? You guys should know this. Kagan, what country was he born in? Egypt. 
Colonial, what country was he born in? I put Egypt as well, and I'm up. Christopher? Jits? Yes, sir. You guys oh, did God. play. Oh, thank God. Where did the boys when, go? When you asked <laughs> me, and then there was like <laughs> a, two seconds of silence after, I thought it was going to be born like somewhere compl- like England, and you're going to be like, no. <laughs> so here's something. That really scared me. I won't I won't try to trick you. If I don't give like a multiple choice, I'm not going to be a dick like that. Like that's not that. You should. No, don't, <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. I I like that's silly. Like if yeah. I if if yeah, I won't do that. I'm not like for the quiz game. I'll try to trick you in other ways, but never like that. Okay. Yeah. I don't like that. That's like cheating. I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just happy right. you didn't say what day he was born. I was like, no. no. Way I then I would give multiple choice, right? Then it would <laughs> for fun. All right. What U.S. college did Mansoor get in engineering? degree from was it south carolina state north carolina state or virginia state south carolina doesn't oh, have a good $20. engineering program i wanted a peanut <laughs> <laughs> Trev. sweet sweet can can sweet sweet can that's a deep hole disregard <laughs> trevor knows you guys ready mm-hmm it was North Carolina State. Damn. Damn. Well, I didn't get it. Yeah. Here's a quick one for you. Has Muhammad Mansoor been knighted in England? Yes or no? Listen. Listen. <laughs> yeah, I am. Just don't yell at me. I'm trying to listen. listen. Here's a free That's, lesson. Uh, <clears throat> funny sidebar while they're writing down their answer. I was... uh. At- I had to go to the county for some zoning shit for work. Um, but while I was there talking with the county, someone's either like text or uh, like ringtone was that. And I kept hearing, listen, listen. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, Trevor? <laughs> like, <"What?" laughs> my God. America, baby. Yeah, <laughs> that's the most American thing I've ever heard. Listen, yeah. listen, listen. That's amazing. Uh, Zoning. I was, I was really like thrown Just, off. I was like, "What the fuck is going on? Is Trevor that's here?" Funny. Ocarina of Time and zoning at the same time. That's what a weird mix. Love It'd be great if you were like, do you hear that? And they're like, no. And they just keep hearing, listen. <laughs> You're like losing your mind. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, that's awesome. Um, the answer is yes, dude. He's been knighted. Oh. I did, I've never seen him as sir. I don't that know why. That question was so random that I was like, if it's not yes, then that's just the most random. Like, <laughs> but that would be very Nate to make a random. I question. know. I'm <laughs> the point in my head. Yeah. <laughs> did you get it, Chris? Yeah. No. Nah. All right. According to Forbes, what is Mansoor's net worth as of today? Is it two point two billion, three point three billion, four point four billion? Fairly alarmed here. <laughs> a lot of billions. Either way, you slice it. Yeah, girl. Must be so nice. Can I have a quarter of one of those billions, and I'll be happy, please, sir? Hey, come from a super rich family, you'll be good to go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's true. Guys, ready? Mm-hmm. Three point three billion. All right. Right. You got it. You get it, Chris. I, it. I did. Damn. Yeah. It. I'm one. So we're calling our one behind you. All right. Well, good for All you. Right. You can count. <laughs> you can count. <laughs> yeah. On me meeting you in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had hit off Frankenstein's fat foot. <laughs> yeah, uh, good for well. happy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> The younger generation has no idea what we're talking about, yeah. but that's okay. Watch I'm Happy not, Gilmore. Not. Do yourself a favor. Favor? They're making a favor. They're making a new one. They are. They are? Nice. Uh, yeah, fact, filming it right now. The nice. guy from uh, Trevor and I listened to the This Is Important podcast, which is the Workaholics guys, um, and one of the guys from that show. He wrote and directed a lot of the episodes. He's actually directing the new Happy Gilmore, so should awesome. be pretty good. Nice. Maybe I, that's I, like a I, no. Maybe that'll be like a sleeper one because everyone ex- like that's the total out of family thing to do. Like everybody expects his movies to be silly and like okay, it's for thirteen year olds, and he just like busts out a, an amazing happy go work too. That'd be so funny. 
but uh, imagine him so he there he's like our age or at least you and me nate he's or i think he's 40 so he's your age colin but imagine like watching happy gilmore when you know it came out in the late 90s or whatever as a kid yeah. and then now fucking 25 years later you're directing adam sandler in the sequel like what a mind fuck that's so I cool I feel yeah. like that's where some of the best stuff is being made by people who are actually fans. Um, yeah, I do believe that 100%. Um, all righty. We are on question number five. What's the score right now? Three to two to two. Beautiful. All right. Mansour Group has exclusive distribution rights for Caterpillar equipment in how many African countries? Eight. Nine or ten? These questions chat my ass. Men lie, women lie. And the no fact that the lie. fact that Chris gets it and wins on these is coin flip questions is what chaps my ass. Hey man, something to be said about consistency. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> That's about that what scares I want to me about it. Listen, if if Chris keeps winning too much, then we have to change something up because maybe he just no he. Just has spent the most amount of time. Yeah, well, that is mm -hmm. a for sure. No, it's it's all right. He's that doing great. He's, he's real good. <laughs> uh, he's killing it. So it is eight African countries. Damn, Chris, I got it. I you got it. What the <laughs> fuck, man? No way. You stupid. You can have these coin flip questions. Yeah. So Chris is two and O oh and O oh for quiz games. I can't this believe season that, yeah. number two. Typical. It's always by like one question. All right. you son of a bitch. I need to God. change something up. I need to change something up. Oh goodness. No, but no we're good. that's uh that's all I had for, for this Eve. You guys got anything else or is somebody gonna make a run? Keegan, you didn't make a run last time. Oh my Keegan, make a run. What? Look at that cross. <laughs> Look at that cross. <laughs> what? Is that a goal allowed? Did we score? For the first time? Oh, we got a goal allowed? We got a goal allowed? Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. We, we announced our allowed. first games. We scored a fucking what goal. What is this? This is, <gasps> this is <laughs> the crowd loves it. They're going crazy. The ref. Chris is frozen. Chris is frozen. <laughs>